everyone, I'm Carrie Doherty. For centuries, people who owned mixed breed dogs could only speculate as to what the hell their pooch actually was. Like my neighbor, she's convinced that her dog is an Arctic wolf. It's this big. She drinks a lot. But luckily today, with genetic testing, we can definitively define the different breeds that make up any given dog. And that's exactly what we're going to do today with one dog. And helping me out is our resident dog expert and veterinarian, Doc Halligan. How are you, Doc? I'm doing great, thanks. So what do you think the benefits are to people knowing what breeds make up a particular dog when they're thinking about maybe adopting it? Well, I think it's good for lifestyle. So knowing what type of breed you have, is it an energetic breed? Is it a couch potato? Also the health risks that come involved with certain breeds of dogs is important to know for your budget. And also here joining us is Angie and Scout. How are you, Angie? I'm great, how are you doing? I'm great. Scout is an incredible looking dog. It almost looks like it's like a photoshopped dog with like the head of one type of dog, the body of another. She's truly a beautiful, beautiful animal. Thank you, we get that a lot. <laughs> so we sent Scout's saliva in a swab off to a lab a few weeks ago and we're going to find out what her exact genetic makeup is. It's in this envelope, which I'm gonna try to grab with it. Down, okay, <laughs> up, down. It's here? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm not gonna open it yet. But I do have some questions about Scout. I would love to get to know her a little bit more. Uh, we rescued her about a year ago. We assume that she's around two years old. Very well behaved. Thank you. And where did you get her from? We got her at Best Friends Shelter. Um, they did a really great job. It's just one of the great places because they actually, you know, train the dog and let us know as much of a background, you know, as any owner should. And what did they tell you at the shelter that they thought she was? Um, Australian cattle dog. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I was like, Queensland healer. So Doc, what's your guess? Yeah, so I mean, I kind of feel like she's a Heinz 57. I see the Rottweiler, I see the Shepherd, definitely the cattle dog, Australian Shepherd mm -hmm. or German Shepherd, one of those. But I do think she's a good mix. Mm -hmm. That would be my gut. We asked the Mashable audience what kind of dog you think Scout is, and here's how you guys weighed in. 90% of you voted mostly Australian Shepherd. 8% voted mostly German Shepherd. 2% voted mostly Chow Chow. All right. Angie, you've weighed in. Doc, you've weighed in. Mashable audience, you've weighed in. It is now time to find out. What's your mutt? Angie, are you nervous? A little bit. Scout, this is a big moment for you. All right. Yeah, come on over. Wanna come over here? All right. All right, here it is. Scout is mostly German Shepherd. Oh, <laughs> Scout. She is mostly German Shepherd, but not by a massive percentage, because she has got a whole lot going on. <laughs> She's 28.1% German Shepherd, 15.2% Chow Chow. Ooh, okay. She's 13% Staffordshire Terrier, 11% Australian Shepherd, 9.1% yes. Australian Cattle Dog, 7.8% Rottweiler, 5.4% Boxer. <laughs> and 10.4% super mutt, which means that Scout's <laughs> ancestors might have also included some Akita, Kali, and or Siberian Husky dog DNA. Wow. That is a wow. lot. That's Look a lot you. of genes. Scout. Good gene pool, Scout. <laughs> Speaking of a good gene pool, her family tree lists both of her parents as simply mixed, yeah. so she is a true mutt. Oh, yeah. So finally, Embark, where we had these tests done, tested Scout's level of wolfiness. Ooh. Scout's wolfiness scored at 2% Ooh. on the wolfiness scale, which is high. Yeah, really? nice. Yeah. Her genetic age in human years is 25. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. two or three. Two or three, mm -hmm. two and okay. a half maybe. So now Angie, whenever you take Scout to the dog park and people ask what kind of dog she is, now you definitively know the answer, even though it'll probably take you like 20 minutes. No, I'm probably gonna say she's a Heinz 57. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's, I feel like that's something that might catch on here in Los Angeles. It might. Be sure to tune in next week so you can catch another episode of What's Your Mutt?